Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll quickly learn how to install the latest version of PowerShell on Windows 11. Note that Windows 11 ships with Windows PowerShell 5.1, and while this version is still functional, it's no longer in active development and is limited to the outdated .NET framework. The latest version of PowerShell is open source and runs on multiple operating systems and offers enhanced programming capabilities and performance, making it an essential upgrade for IT professionals and system administrators, offering significant performance improvements over version 5.1. Before installing the new version, I'll show you how to find out which version of PowerShell is currently running on your system. After opening the PowerShell window, enter the command dollar sign ps version table shown on the screen. I'll show you the command in the video description. Executing this command will display a table with the current PowerShell details. Look for the ps version line and you will see the current version, which is 5.1. This confirms that you are using the older version. And to update or install PowerShell 7.5 on your system, I will use Winget the Windows Package Manager to download and install the latest stable version of PowerShell. Now run or execute the command shown on the screen and I'll leave the commands in the video description. The system will begin downloading and installing PowerShell 7 from the official Microsoft repository. The installation process may take a few minutes. This command prompts Winget to install the package ID Microsoft.PowerShell, which is the unique identifier for the main stable version of PowerShell. Source Winget explicitly specifies the Winget repository as the source of the package. If you're using Windows 10, you may need to install Winget manually. I've left a link to a video on how to install Winget on Windows 10 in the video description. During the installation, you may be asked to confirm the installation and elevated privileges. Wait until Winget reports that the installation is complete. You'll see progress indicators and a final success message in the command prompt. After the installation is complete, close the PowerShell window. You should know that the new version of PowerShell was installed alongside the old version, so you now have both. And to open the new PowerShell 7, type PowerShell 7 or PWSH in the search box you will find the new version distinguished from the old by its black icon and the old version, of course, by its blue icon. Open it. Once opened, you will find the version number written up the top. To further verify, enter the command dollar sign PS version table and you will find that you are now running the new version of PowerShell. Upgrading to PowerShell 7 gives you access to the latest features better performance, improved security, and compatibility with multi-system environments, and is especially useful for administrators who want to use advanced scripting tools or modules that only work with newer versions. If you like this video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell button to receive all that is new. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.